Hello everybody, uh, yeah sorry for the delayed start of the stream because uh, apparently there was an update today and since then it was a bit uncooperative but I got it working now so we're good. But yeah that delayed me by about 20 minutes and then I was good to go and I was like you know what I sat half an hour so let's just wait out the additional 10 minutes, grab myself something to drink and everything like that so uh, yeah October is upon us it's been upon us for about a week now but I was busy the first uh, of those days um, I do have a nice lineup of horror games um, and I started a poll um, during the 10 minutes that I had left um, with put four of those games in there and you can vote on my uh, Twitter on what the first horror game I should check out will be. Um, it's only four because apparently you can only uh, put four in a poll. That's unfortunate, but hey, that that's what it is. So I just picked four at random and put them in there. If there's anyone uh, that just piques your interest and you want me to see me play it, then... Uh, vote for it i the poll runs for two days from now so you have a little bit of time i will mention it a couple of times throughout the stream whenever people drop by and yeah this is basically the kickoff show to halloween horror game month so i thought to myself what would i do for a kickoff stream because i i want people to get into the spirit but if i put some horror game in there then people would be like you know maybe I, I would have seen one of the other games instead uh, so I can't really pick an actual horror game that's part of the lineup because then uh, people feel like they don't have control over that so in order to circumvent that I picked two games that are pretty short um, they've both been part of my 12 hour stream right at the end there but because the 12 hour stream uh, what is incredibly laggy I decided against actually uploading it so I'm just going to replay pretty much all of the games that were in there um, including these two They Breathe and Glitch Hikers now those are not actual horror games you could make a case for They Breathe to be one especially when you have like Fear of Deep Water but yeah, I'm going to play those two. They are pretty good in building atmosphere. Uh, they they pretty much succeed in everything Five Nights at Freddy's didn't succeed at. But they have other intentions behind them. They are pretty high concept. Um, they have messages. Um, so I will uh, analyze that a bit uh, as I'm going. And uh, we'll talk about them after we completed them. Be because we will complete both of them in about let's say two hours. I, I'm confident that this will be like a two hour stream at best. And uh, yeah, that's how it's going to go. Um, hope you can hear me all right when I do this. I can put the mic up a bit more, but I have like a, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, unpleasant sounds emitting from a microphone, like a little bit of, uh, you know, Probably time to uh, replace this old boy because I own this microphone forever now and I kind of need a new one. But you know, for now it still works fine. So uh, I'm going to switch over to the live screen now. You, as you can see, I have no camera in this. Mainly because I wasn't sure where to put it for both of those games. Um, that's how it's going to be. I'm waiting a second now so I can see if it all worked. Looks great. Nice. Today my second screen is not a diva anymore, so... Yeah. The working parts. Wish you good luck. Thanks, working parts. This is a fantastic, melancholic and uh, kind of sad title screen and already this is a great title screen for multiple reasons for one um, it already sets the mood of the game perfectly and by the way if the aspect ratio looks 
looks terrible, that's because it is. And there's no options menu to uh, circumvent it. So that's a, that's a little minus. It looks a bit weird. But, you know, the, the black bars on top and on the bottom, they are there in game as well. And the two bars on the side is because I have screwed up with setting my aspect ratio. I need to fix that at some point. Um, but yeah, this is Day Breathe. Actually, let me try to circumvent it a little bit. If I go to this and just nope, nope, that nope, that screws everything up. We could also do. Ah, that doesn't change anything. Okay. Well, then this is how it's going to be then. Can't do anything against a black class. But yeah, this is uh, they breathe. You're playing a frog. And if you look at the water, it's pretty dirty, there, there's stuff swimming in there. We have those bubbles coming up, those will be important. Take note of those bubbles. Take note of the sad music. This is a great title screen for multiple reasons, right? It, it gets across the art style, it gets across the mood. It already foreshadows. So since we are a frog, we have lungs, so we need those air bubbles to stay alive. This is a uh, central mechanic. Uh, already the music is disappearing. And uh, water sounds. Oh! Hello, buddies. Okay. We need to save our friend here. Because he is currently drowning. And if we are not careful, so will we. Um, oh, we could have needed that. There we are. Um, yeah, yeah, just, just take that one. Come on, buddy. Don't fail me here. Yeah, take that one. Nice. Save some froggers. There's an achievement if you save every frog in the game, which later on will be kind of difficult. There's also uh, an achievement for beating the entire game without any of those breast strokes that I did there. That make you... Uh, faster. And those are the primary enemies. Let me... Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay, you just need to endure them a bit. Take note of the atmosphere this game builds. It's fantastic, honestly. Now we uh, combine both of those mechanics. Ouch. Saving the froggy and nope. <laughs> that guy is dead. Which was pretty. Which was a. Out. Oh. That energized the hell out of this guy. Oh god. Ouch. Now we establish those strange plant sponge looking thingies. Ouch. Oh, 
up. Nope, nope, nope. Leave me alone, please. Ouch. Already close to death. And then... Um, <laughs> I am... Um, I don't think I need to stress that I'm probably not going to attempt any of the challenge runs <laughs> that you get achievements for. This frog is dead. Oh, maybe it was knocked out. I don't know. How to say. What are you doing, man? Get away from those. Ah, I hate it when they get fast. <laughs> and I'm dead again. Oh. If you get one of the air bubbles, they release you. Interesting. Now he's energized again. Eh. Leave me be, please. Those things are the worst. I don't know how you're supposed to beat that without a breast stroke. Okay, we made it past this. It's ha it has auto check points, so it's not going to frustrate you at any point. Oh yeah, those guys. Just n try to not collect those green bubbles because those kill you. <laughs> they actually take air away from you. Hey Xavier's dad! How you doing? And how's Xavier? <laughs> yeah, so now it introduces another enemy type. Just stay clear of the green bubbles. It's a bit like a 2D shooter. Oops. Sorry, Frogo. Uh, I'm sorry again. <laughs> Can you not? Um, yeah, I, I kind of need that one. Thank you. Atmosphere gets a bit darker at this point as well. Also, the water is getting darker. And notice those plants. Plant sponge thingies in the background. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This will be a pain, especially if one of them gets energized. Eh. I'm about dead. Can we can we make it to this one? We could. Ah, thank god. Eh. No, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> You've never seen anyone play this game. I played it actually before on stream. It was part of the 12 hour stream. However, uh, that vod wasn't good. It turned out very laggy and... Oh god. I will resume talking momentarily. <laughs> Ouch. Leave me alone. <laughs> eh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah. So I'm replaying this to get us into the spirit of uh, Halloween horror game season. Because it's October, and October is the wonderful time of the year. Eh. Where everyone plays horror games, and I love it. So I'm participating this year as well. Eh. <sighs> I think we made it. No chance to save that frog, I don't know. How often you have to play that game to get good at saving the frogs. I'm not going to go after the achievements, <laughs> is my point. Ah. Look at those. Ah. 
Ah, those guys. I remember those guys. Those guys you have to actually bump into air to make them explode. Like so. Uh, you have that. You have to do that a couple of times. Like so. Then you can hopefully, probably not gather the big bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're pretty much on my ass. Never said this is going to be a family friendly stream, but it's 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 Halloween horror game season. Who cares about family friendly games? Um. So yeah, I kind of want to maybe not be in here. Oh my god! <laughs> eh, eh. Whoa! There's a, there's a lot of guys here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this alive, then, uh, <sighs> No! <laughs> this one, this one, yes! Let's see if we survive this. <sighs> okay, looking good, looking good. Concentrate on two things right now. <laughs> uh, and we made it. <laughs> e even though my dad entered the room and just talked about something. Um, extra is here. Danke Laura für den Host. Sechs Zuschauer, auch nicht schlecht. And this is They Breathe. It's a game about a frog facing terrible horrors that lure in the deep sea. That's the synopsis. Everything else, pretty much what you see is what you get. Oh god. Ugh. Ah, they are swapping. I see, I see. <laughs> Jared getting terrified. Well, oh, whoops. <laughs> You can clip all you want if if you see something that's clip worthy. Hey everybody. This is to kick off hol horror game season. If you want to vote on a horror game played after this stream, you can look at my Twitter. I put a poll up between four games because apparently on Twitter polls you can only put four options in. Um, so I put four games out of my Oh, look at this. Storytelling. So those little plants we've been seeing at the at the top there actually evolve into the things we are fighting. Nice. Um top 10 <laughs> anime jumps. Yeah, so um I I put four games out of my horror game catalog in there. Um you might not want to. And there we are. That's the origin of why those um, jellyfish like thingies have cow heads. It's not a cow head. <laughs> it's an upside down dead frog. 
Oh, oh god. Eh! You are the worst, mister. Okay. But we survive, it's good. It's getting even darker, look at those. Atmosphere is building, the tension is palpable, ladies and gentlemen. Probably could have probably looked at chat instead of doing uh, this is oh and so the 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 green thing is they actually take air away so as long as the green dude is there fighting against those will probably be difficult okay green dude is gone and I think I can take on two of those. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> pushed him into the pushed him into the air there. Come on, buddy. Grab some air. Just do something. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to do this and hope that some air is going to come into there because I don't want to push my body up. <laughs> I, I saved him, I did it. <laughs> exactly how I was playing. Yep, Gute Nacht, Laura. I'm from Germany, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> yep. Um. Going into the green thing's a very bad idea. <laughs> uh. Well, everything's terrible now again. Um, so yeah, if you're just tuned in, main mechanic of this is uh, get air. Because if you don't, you die, like I did. Um, I was actually looking at the camera even though I turned it off for this. <laughs> oh! Sorry. <laughs> eh. And I'm dead again. <laughs> Thanks for the look, JC. Okay, let's stay away from the bottom. Okay, he got caught, that's kind of horrible, but better than me. <laughs> Ouch. Man, those choking sounds, they really put effort into those. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. I can I can kind of use these guys as a shield. But I need to be careful about it so that I don't die. Okay, he's gone. We can probably deal with those. I see no issue dealing with those two. I could even go do this. Ah, god damn it. Wanted to grab that big bubble, big bubble, big bubble. I wanted to grab that. <laughs> okay, come, come here, come get me. No, I'm over here now. Ah, God, I hate these little thingies. Trying to get me on your computer, but it's slow. Ah, is that a me thing? Is there something I can do about that? Or is that your computer? And we we already reached the final boss. This is the thing that made the bubbles that we survived of. And surprise, surprise! Billions of dead. 
dead frogs and uh... uh... yep I completely forgot what I have to do here see first off don't die I feel like that's a great first step oh I think I need to take the frogs off of them so those guys drive into this then I just need to survive those guys until they're drained of air. In the meantime, I can do this. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit too quick. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> ah yeah, because the air comes only from, from those, those barely alive frogs that are part of the boss. Come on, buddy. Give me air. Thanks. One more? Can you get one more? Yeah, also. <sighs> we did it. See, it's not a long game. And now just observe the way they did the credits, because I think this is genius. I will leave the credits running, because those people deserve to get their names out there. I think there's a lot to this, not only the brilliant art style, but just... This was based on a school project. I think that's a good testament about how smart people uh, that are going to school actually are. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> and those are the frogs we saved. Now honestly, how brilliant was this? This little gem. And there's my face. Hello. <laughs> this is a fantastic little game. It's really short, but there's a lot of good parts to it. Like the art style is fantastic, the music is good. It, the way it builds atmosphere makes it suitable to be like compared to a horror game because it has like unnerving themes about um, basically leeches. Like this, this little parasitic jellyfish thingies that are sucking the air from the frogs it's uh it's pretty great there's a lot of concept stuff and the atmosphere they built the the deeper you go into uh the ocean or whatever water body this is uh, it's brilliantly done absolutely fantastic i will say that it's probably a bit too pricey for the length of it but i mean Either get it on sale, or when uh, when you have a lot of money, then just give them the money. <laughs> because holy shit, this is, this is a fantastic little gem, isn't it? So yeah, again, this is um, the first stream for horror game month. Uh, you can vote on what my next horror game will be over on my Twitter which is linked down in the uh, panels below somewhere. I think it's a cat picture. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what picture I put on there. But uh, yeah, you can vote on the next one. 
So uh, I, you will notice that there is a second game there. That's also a pretty short one. So the stream might even we are only stream for half an hour. We all already through the first game. Second one even shorter. So I might do some spontaneous other s stuff afterwards. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the other game I want to play today is called Glitch Hikers. And Glitch Hikers is another game that isn't a horror game at all, but it's another um, example of really good atmosphere building. So um, if you want to learn how to build atmosphere for whatever it is you do, like if you do anything creative and you want to build atmosphere, then they Breathe is a good example about storytelling without a single word. Like there, there's no dialogue in that game at all. All the storytelling it does is by foreshadowing, by having interesting backgrounds or foregrounds, and a lot of suggesting and music. And that's it. That's all you need if you if you're good at what you do. The other game um, doesn't have a story that it's telling, but it has a progression. And it has um, an interesting way of building atmosphere and introducing concepts to you. So I'm going to play that now. Uh, give me a second while I boot all of that up. Um, yep, that's, that's wonderful, that's fine, that's good. And then let's go out of this immediately and set this to this and let's see if it works I noticed a, a lot of, uh, of viewer drop there either it was on my end or it's just because the game wasn't interesting did that work? Looks like it. Look look at that. Okay, Silver String Media. Now the song I used right at the beginning, you can uh, listen to that one. Uh, I'm just going to uh, preface this before I actually start the game. Um, the song I used right at the beginning of the stream. Um, if you've uh, followed me for a while there, then... Um, you might know that I play songs before the actual stream starts in order to get people the chance to jump in. And the song I use today is part of the soundtrack for Glitch Hikers. And Glitch Hikers soundtrack is fantastic. Um, especially considering how small the game is the soundtrack belongs to, it's actually overcompensating. <laughs> like, it's really over delivering. And I will also say, that Glitch Hikers is a very short game that is free and even if you watched it here I think you should um, if you have like half an hour of free time you should find it, download it and play it yourself. I think everyone should have played this game at least once in their lives because it's really good at what it does. It's very niche but you know it's also it doesn't take a lot of your time so I'm going to play it now but yeah, you should definitely play it yourself at some point. I will go into why uh, afterwards. Because the atmosphere building in this is so good that I don't want to talk too much over it. So this is... Um, this is pretty much a thing. We can look left. We blink automatically, we can look right. We can increase the speed to 120 kilometers per hour. Or we can decrease it to 90. But we drive automatically. We can change lanes. And that's pretty much all you can do. Look left to right and increase or decrease speed and change lanes. And that's, um, as an outset, uh, doesn't seem too interesting, right? But I mean, listen to what the soundtrack is doing. That's the radio right now. And also, as you saw by the prompt earlier, there's dialogue in this game, and the dialogue is the important part. And that was Pinky's Dream by David Lynch. This is Radio 90, and you're listening to Night Drive. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oh 
Almost a hundred years before Columbus ever sailed to the Americas, a Chinese explorer named Zheng He made seven naval expeditions, traveling thousands of miles with over 300 ships. When the next emperor came to power, all the ships were destroyed, and the Ming Dynasty entered a period of isolationism that lasted hundreds of years. With that one decision, the fate of the world changed. Let's go on a journey together, with our next soul, find me, on a whim. So yeah, those little uh, things that the person on the radio is talking about are actually uh, pretty important to the concepts that the game introduces to you. Like in the what what he said there is that someone ruled a country for a while and someone else destroyed what he did and the country went into a completely different direction afterwards. So pretty much he undid what the other person gave his life towards. And now we have a passenger and that's a that's a glitch hiker. Thanks for the pickup. I was beginning to think it would be hours before I got a lift from something worthy. I'm just... Um... Had a bad experience with hitchhiking before? It's nothing a little drive can fix. Just to the next rest stop would be great. A good drive can fix a lot. Mind of a smoke? Uh... Driving is lonely. Hi, Fonzie. Driving is such a lonely thing. Is that a joint? <laughs> Go all BC, bud. Lonely can be good though. Gives you time alone with your thoughts. They say the journey's more important than, you know, the other thing. Why are you driving? Just to get somewhere. Utilitarian. Grounded. That's cool. When I was a kid, we had a cabin out on the island. At night you could see thousands of stars. Was so bright you didn't need a flashlight. They gave them all names. Atticus and Caesar, Garuda and Saul. The, they fought each other in wars of uh, making alliances formed and were broken. Explosions burst across the sky. It was a, I was a god to them. There's no such thing as a god. Godliness is a matter of perspective. Uh, are we not a flowers god? Is it not a mountain? <laughs> it's not a mountain hour god? My parents pretty much ignored me. Father was too drunk, mother too busy. Yet I still remember those days fondly. Think that says something about me? <laughs> Internet providers are the worst. Yes it does. It probably does. One day a man came to the grassy spot where I played. He said he was from the stars and he pleaded for my mercy. Uh, I told him it was all make-believe. He just shook his head. Did you stop? You know, I don't remember. I guess I must have. I never saw him again. Too bad I was never really a kid. Thanks for the lift. And just like that, they're gone. She pretty much did, I think. Uh, I, I think it was a dude as well. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, if we get the right passengers, uh, you will see that it's sometimes even harder to tell than that. Well, that was a little different. Ever wonder why the night sky is black? Even though there is nowhere you could look that doesn't eventually have a star, shouldn't it be white? And scientists say the average color of the universe is beige. There are stars above you even in the day, and they are watching. Gravity well, up next. I love gravity Keep your well. Eye on the road and have a lovely drive. So what they, what he said now is that, looking in the sky. Even at day, there are stars above you, and when you look at the at the sky at night, you will notice that the sky is black. Even though you could look nowhere where there wouldn't eventually be a star, right? So, why is the sky black when there's a light source everywhere you look potentially? That's an that's an interesting thing to th think about.
Oh, hello. I found a beached whale the other day, up north, just laying there. I was, it was still alive. It looked up to me as I approached. You know why whales beach themselves? Sona? Sona messes with her brains. Sure, blame humans, but beaching happened long before Sona. Anyway, I wasn't asking you, that's why I, that's what I asked the whale. Why do humans jump off bridges? It responded. All sorts of reasons, I said, but it looked at me like it knew. Knew I didn't really know. Or didn't I? Most suicides are the result of mental illness. I mean, yeah, often, I guess, but is there more to it? What's at the end of the jump? You ever think about just driving off the road? Careening through the barrier, down a cliff, into the forest or water? We all have those fantasies. We never do it. Somehow this world won't let us. I know someone. I'm sorry, that's rough. It might ease their pain, but it sure causes a lot of the people around them. Or to the people around them. You ever lost someone close to you? Yeah, a friend. That's the worst. You don't expect that to happen. You don't ever consider it. I lost a brother. A little while ago. He was always there for me. Now he's just not. That hurts. Thinking about it is like dressing a throbbing wound that you know will never fully heal, no matter what. It will always be there. Only 10% of people who survive suicide attempts go on to die by suicide. Many have transformative experiences and would never consider it again. Some even realize they want to live, right when it's too late to stop. But you push a whale back into the water and it swims itself right back onto the beach. Maybe they know something we don't. Does death ever make sense? And she's gone again. That's heavy stuff, you know? <laughs> this game... Uh, already up to this point we had two passengers and we had two different narratives. That had nothing to do with each other, but each presented to you a concept. And that's the power of this game. Alongside with the atmosphere d um, made by the radio. And the, and the circle subtle of life car continues. sounds. We don't always have control over our lives, over what happens to us. But we do control how we react. Accept, grow, live, love, hide, fade, wither, wiser. Embrace. Fight. You are all alone out there, but you know, you're never alone. <laughs> hey, Millions Jesse. of distinct bacteria share your body. You're never alone. Keep driving, driver. Turtles all the way down is up next. That's another relative thing, right? You are never alone because you have millions of bacteria in your body. But would you consider the bacteria to be like company or something? You don't even notice they're there for most of the time. And so if the universe is a body, then we are the bacteria, I think. So freaky to think about stuff like that. The universe is expanding, and yet the universe has no edge. What is it expanding into? I'm in my fourth year of physics, and even I don't really get it. Infinite spaces can expand in infinitely. Infinity is such a beautiful concept. An infinite universe with infinite universes within it. Each of us, our own little infinity. See, the thing is, I don't really need to get it. There's like 300 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and billions more galaxies out there. A little single planet doesn't matter a bit in it all, and yet, it's still wonderful, don't you think? 
I agree. The universe is wonderful. Even within an infinity of the unknown, we still have love and happiness and life. In all the crazy infinity that is our own existence, in all the vastness of understanding we still lack, there's this amazing thing that is consciousness. Carl Sagan once said that since we are a part of the universe, consciousness allows the universe to know itself. That's, that's beautiful. One day in the lab, we were doing chemistry experiments, right? Just a simple grade school exercise of burning different substances to see the color they produce, like fireworks. Magnesium, copper, strontium, lithium. Science and art come together. My lab partner was this girl I didn't know, but god she was pretty, in sort of a spunky way. We talked about different kinds of stars and the heat death of the universe and entropy. It was the start of something beautiful. What was her name? Uh, we went away the next day, far away to a little world of our own, floating amongst nebulae and white dwarfs and undiscovered planets. Her sense of humor was dry, sometimes I didn't even know if she was joking. She said the most absurd things, how she wanted to die in the heart of a star. I said she'd burn up long before she got close and she looked at me like it was a challenge. We laughed and cried together, helped each other through tough times, family and friends and our own minds. The way she looked at me, a little smile in her eyes. The way she could rattle off chemical equations and the constructions of molecules. She drew them in her sleep and I'd watched her eyelids flutter gently, the rise and fall of her chest, the tendons in her arms. We watched the fireworks together on New Year's, rattling off the compounds used, the balance of heat and luminosity, then flew off into the sky through the lingering smoke. We were together six months before it flamed out, too intense for us to keep up, but it was beautiful while it lasted. I will always love those days. Love is an amazing thing. It's what it's all about, connecting with other people like that, the universe knowing itself. I'm going to see my new girlfriend now, just outside the city. We are all going to die in a fiery explosion one day. We are, it's just going to happen. But what a wonderful thing to be a part of in the meantime. God, I love driving. Don't you love driving? Why do you drive? <laughs> I'm just trying to get somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess we all are. Maybe that's all there is. That was beautiful. She's my favorite. Look at the night sky. And she's gone. What do you see out there? Emptiness? Chaos? An uncaring void? Or do you see the stars? The art of the nebulae? The romance of distant galaxies? Is God watching you? Is she watching any of us? Seven billion people on this world, and all we have is each other, our own little infinity. Now count back with me, driver. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. This has been Radio 90 Night Drive. Travel safely. Good night. Yeah, the, the concepts this game introduces are incredible. At the end you basically get a choice to stay where the road tells you, like the signs, or you can go the other way. Doesn't really make a difference. Doesn't change the ending or anything, it's just a little thing. You have a choice at the end. And look at this. So simple yet so beautiful. There's something charming about low poly graphics like this. And the song that plays now is the credit song, and that's great. Yeah, like I said, very short game. But I think it's really great in building atmosphere. The, the way they use the radio on that, fantastic. And you have all those different life stories and concepts that have nothing to do with each other but are still kind of connected. 
but each also proposed like a different subject matter to go off of. And you you always pick up three passengers. I always pick the same first one, but everyone else after that is randomized. So there are even more passengers in this game you can potentially pick up. Uh, which is why I say that um, even if you saw this here, you should definitely go out and play it yourself. It's called Glitch Hikers. It's free um, and it doesn't take you much of your time. You can play it two, three times. Um, and still sometimes meet someone new. It's, it's really good. Now obviously not a horror game by any means. People suddenly appearing in your car might startle you at first, but yeah, it's it's just a really cool, intense atmosphere it builds, even though nothing is really happening to you. You're just driving. It's wonderful. I will just left leave the credits running. Uh, meanwhile, um, if you're still in chat right now, what did you get out of this? Did you think it was interesting or did you think it was boring? Games, uh, like questions like that is, are interesting to me, personally. Because on an objective level this game didn't have too much to it. But it had a lot of, the stuff it was talking about had a lot to them. And like I said there are parts in this that the game does really well. So I, I would just be interested to see what you got out of this. Game with the robots? You mean Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball? <laughs> it's a di different kind of game entirely. <laughs> uh, I mean, valid opinion though. <laughs> yeah, that game is pretty great. Yeah, again, Glitch Hikers, play it yourself one day. It doesn't take long, it's free. It's pretty great. I will go back to the intermission screen now, so you can see my face again. Ah, there we are. So those were the two games that I wanted to play today. I've only streamed for an hour, so I could do something else. If I wanted. Or I could just raid someone. Well, maybe maybe a raid doesn't really... It's not worthwhile, but for viewers. But I mean, why not, right? Um... We can also do an impromptu Q&A if you want. I am open to it. In the meantime, let me just plug my shit. Um, if you go on my Twitter right now, like I said earlier, you can vote on what my next horror game is going to be. Like, now is horror game month. <laughs> okay? Uh, I'll, I'll take that to heart. But let's let's do pr impromptu Q&A before that, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, you, you can vote on what my next horror game is going to be. I was thinking about starting this off with a horror game, but I, fe I feel like um, when you already give the choice to your audience, then taking a choice away from them to start things off is the wrong foot to start off with. So I just pick two short games that are kind of un unsettling, unnerving, um, while not really uh, horror games just to ease us into the mood and then uh, yeah that's that's what happened I, I hope you you enjoyed it like a little one hour chill stream <laughs> basically um, but I mean both of those games have a lot to them and there's a lot to unpack there and a lot of analyzing and overthinking <laughs> if you want you can deep dive into the concepts introduced by They Breathe or by Glitch Hikers and uh, you could probably fill an entire four-hour podcast just talking about Glitch Hikers, a game that literally takes 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel like you should definitely play Glitch Hikers at some point. Like I said, there are different passengers you can pick up, different people you can talk to, and they will have different ideals. There's a, a in my very first playthrough of that, I uh, had like a little girl in my in my uh, car. And she was very pessimistic and very cynical, and uh, pretty much had the was the opposite of the third person I had in this playthrough, which was very optimistic and um, 
like enjoyed the beauty of the beauty of uh, infinity whereas the little girl uh, had l pretty much a mindset of you know nothing i do matters and in the grand scheme of things none of us matter even if we we together as a planet we don't matter because in the vastness of the universe we are incredibly insignificant mm. which is something to impact all right it's it's um when you think about it that's probably the most scariest uh, thought of all is that nothing we do matter at all and um, that's that's one of the concepts that i think makes for great horror even when not tackled directly into a horror game it's it's an unnerv unnerving thing to think about probably as unnerving as my language skills okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take your suggestion and i'm going to find someone to raid in the meantime while i look for someone can s uh, if you want you can throw a question my way that i can answer while i look for someone um, otherwise I'm just going to sit here ramble about nothing <laughs> for like five minutes, which will probably not be enjoyable. Um, but by all means, stay stay here, I will send you someone's way, eventually. Then I think I'm just going to put on a song and leave. <laughs> okay, there's Twitch. Let's see, what's a, what's a game I would like to send you into? Hmm... I mean, we are in a horror game season, so let's look for good horror games. Although there, are there, I see some other stuff that's pretty good. Jackbox streams are always pretty great because you can actually play along instead of just watching. That might be good. Bloodborne, nah, nah. I don't feel Bloodborne right now. Cthulhu Tactics. SCP Secret Laboratory. There's interesting stuff here. Some games that I didn't think were still getting played right now. I mean, Xavier's dad earlier came in and said he never saw someone play Day Breathe. Which is like, that's interesting to me because uh, I know of this game because the Game Grumps played it. And I, it was interesting to me. So I... Uh, Immediately stopped watching the video and sought, sought the game out, out for myself, right? Which is, uh, I think, the proper way to play horror games is by not spoiling yourself. And we are back to three people. Well, that's fine. Raid will get progressively less viable. Charade is playing Dead Space right now. I'm going to uh, visit him la uh, her later. I'm, I'm still <laughs> confused on that. Cuphead. That's completely against the season. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. I think everyone knows the big reveal at this point with that game. Hellblade is a good one. That one I haven't heard of. Do I want to risk get... Uh, Let's see if I find a game that I know, so I can kind of expect what to send you into. The Council. <laughs> I don't want to spoil myself on the Council. Cry of Fear. That one is alright. Not the best, but it's alright. Let's see. Mute Streamer. Spooktuber Spooky. Sure, let's go to the mute streamer. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, send you uh, that person's way now. Um, and then I'm going to put some music on here and then leave. Um, Hope you enjoyed the start into October, and like I said, vote on the next game, if you want. Invalid username. Oh, because I put the link there. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> um, I mean, now I, I know how to spell it. Okay, let's, let's put a rate in there. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. This will be a short and sweet vod with two games in it.
So I'll see what I can cut out of, of it to make it even a bit more sure, shorter. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out. Uh, vote on the next one, and that's pretty much all I can say now.